Good evening, exolots. Okay, you can go now, now. Okay. As you all may know, I am quite the hip hopper of countries. And in 2019, I moved from Malaysia to Vietnam for my dad's work. As a result, I was torn apart from friends, families, enemies, a lot of enemies. High school was a big mess. And most importantly, my crusty white dog, Abby. You see, while I was away getting bitches and straight A's to make my ancestors proud, Abby was under the care of my aunt who definitely did not sign up for this job, but still took good care of her nonetheless. We've been separated for about two years now, and that would be over... at least 15 days, I think? 730 days. But finally, the time came where we were able to move back home and reunite with who and what we left behind. They say the bond between man and dog is indescribable, something precious and sacred that couldn't possibly be understood through simple words alone. For centuries, dogs have been known as mankind's best friend, showing us endless loyalty and love throughout even the harshest of times. So when I saw Abby again, I was filled with endless joy at the anticipation of our bonds reconnecting and her loyalty remaining firm. Abby! Abby! This motherfucker forgot about us! She was just barking away and decided to use the dining room table as a fort to get away from us. The absolute betrayal I had after watching all these soldier returning home videos, all these reunions with dogs, and I was expecting to put bracket emotional in the title. The moment she turned away and started barking at us, everyone in the room collectively lost their shit and tried using the power of the Chinese language to communicate her part and convince her that we weren't strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that side eye, what is this behavior, Pooja? So of course, I tried inching towards her in a natural, subtle manner so that maybe she could get a whiff of my scent to kickstart some form of memory. She managed to let me pet her, but there was this look of uncertainty in her eyes, like she was in the midst of getting kidnapped, but is too socially anxious to speak out about it. You can sense the fear radiating off her. She won't even sniff me. This is hurtful. Eventually though, we found a solution. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'd know that not only do I fight 12 year olds on the daily, I also have an immense hatred towards the color green. If I could burn down every tree in the world, I would do so and we will all asphyxiate together in bliss. However, one of Abby's favorite treats since she was but a young little pupper has been this snack called Grainy. When I handed it over to her, she started licking it reluctantly, appearing as a six-year-old child getting lured into a white van with candy. Suddenly, after we handed her the treat for her consumption, there was a brief flicker of recognition. <laughs> she remembers. I don't know what in the world happened here. Either her strongest memory of us was the treat or she was operating at 5 frames per second there was a lag in the wi-fi i don't know what's going on either way it ended in a happy reunion so now let us move on to the main elephant in the room why does she look like a raw chicken so after we got the house cleaned up a bit more we were finally able to bring abby back home and here is some clips of that um, go. Your legs are too short. Ah. Oh my god. Baby, 
Đi xuống đây em Thôi xuống đi Thôi xuống đi Thôi xuống đi Thôi xuống đi <laughs> All right, Abby, you somehow sinned evilly in your past life, and your curse is to have a YouTuber as an owner. Hey, come here. Well, fuck you too. Actually, actually, yeah, I should wear socks. Well, I'll be here, Abby. I'll be right back. So while we were in Vietnam, um, there was a nice little shop that sold pretty cute accessories, stuff like that. And something that caught me and my dad's eye was the fact that they also sold clothes for pets. So we bought a bunch of dresses just for Abby. And she's not gonna wear them for long because I'm pretty sure she doesn't like wearing dresses. She's never really worn any. But we're going to give them a try. My mom told us to find the smallest size possible because Abby is pretty small. Get over here. <laughs> Let me show you the collection. This is the one I chose. What? what? My hand. It's pretty cute. It's got little wings in the back. Uh, apparently when they walk, it'll bounce up and down like she's flying into heaven. That sounds like I'm cursing her. No, no, you're not. No, it's okay. She's a model. And then you have this one that my dad chose, my mom called it ugly. It's like a little sailor's dress and it's actually pretty big. Uh, my mom thinks she won't be able to wear this because of how huge it is. So we'll see about that. The third one <laughs> is the one my mom chose. I feel like she'll like this one the most because it's pretty airy. There's a lot of holes. It's probably gonna be really comfy to wear. I turned the air con on mm -hmm. so she won't... Was that a boat? I turned the aircon on? Did you hear that? What was I talking about? Come here, Abby. Let me doll you up for material means. You are so cute, actually. You're kind of... You're a bit chunky now, so I'm not sure if this will work. What? Material girl! I wear Chanel now, boo! Abby, please. Your clothes, ma'am. Your clothes. <laughs> uh, so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. All will be over in a matter of seconds, Abby. No. <laughs> Don't look at me. Materia girl. <laughs> Abby, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, hugs first. She's feeling very insecure. <laughs> a few minutes later. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna wear this dress whether you like it or not, buddy. Okay, pets first. I feel as if I'm losing all my authority here. Come on, Abby, you'll like it, I swear. It'll get you all the lads or laddies. Oh, I'm so out of breath. What are you doing? <laughs> You're still gonna have to wear the dress. Ha! I caught you while you were distracted. Have you put it on? For the love of God. You do not like this. Oh, she wants to eat it. She thinks it's like a, like a toy. Nice. Look, I'm, I'm digging your nose. Ah! I'm digging your nose. Baby. <laughs> ah, I know we'll skate now. Look which one I go. I take like this. Her hand go in here oh. and then mm, button. Abby, I'm going to wear this dress. 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 Abby, I'm going to wear this dress.
你没有穿衣呢？你是狗吗？我没有把你当成人吗？来。<笑><笑>哎呀，我服啦，拿啊，这哎呦，你你你，哎呦，我们黑人根本都，<笑>你看 ，Oh no， 这么远，都你这么远，跟这么长那么远 ，No， she's too wide， 你在玩，喂喂喂，喂，喂 ，No， 喂喂 ，No no no。Maybe it was uh, an optical illusion. Uh, it was an optical illusion. There we go. What is it? You can't hear me. No, 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 no. Look. You put down. And then we button it up. You put down. And then we button it up. You put down. And then we button it up. Yo. Maybe you're too fat. No. That's too small. It's okay. We can try. Maybe. Then blanket. Chill out. Don't blanket. Good. Oh no, they were adding a choke. It was a choker. Wow, I mean, you're so pretty. Okay, Abby, this is your last hope. This one's pretty wide. I think she can fit inside. Oh. So fat and round. Just like you. This Abby is actually very sexy. I mean, this one looks like grandma's. Oh. This one's sexy. See through. See through. What are you seeing? Chin chin ah, chin chin ah. Okay, hi baby. Oh look, there you go. Abby, say that girl, love for for now. You know. She's eating. No, no, no. No, stop. No, no, you're choking yourself. Okay, I'll buy two size. This is XS. Okay, okay. I saw it. Okay, okay. 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 This is S. Ah. No, in the store you were like, oh, they don't have XS. Oh, if I ah. S, ah, he's gonna be too big for her. I did that. He's using it as a chew toy. Hey, Abby. No, don't eat it. Don't, don't eat it. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, so more. Did you eat some of the dress? Abby, I'll turn it. Turn it, yeah. Turn it, can you? She's a dog. Abby, high five. High five. Abby. Bang. Abby, sit. 